Hello, everyone. This is Darren Anderson from Vive Crop Protection. Really appreciate everyone coming out to listen to this webinar. Um, I'm joined by Kelly Gregg. Kelly is a marketing associate and biologist with us here at Vive Crop Protection. And she's going to tell us about Asteroid by Fender and a little bit about the company and the Alice Burst delivery system. With that, Kelly, would you like to take it away? Okay. Thank you, Darren. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. So as Darren mentioned, we're going to be talking about Asteroid and Bifender today. I'll walk you through the product specs and the benefits, and then we'll talk a little bit about the field trial data that we have. So Asteroid and Bifender are our two current products that we have registered for in furrow use that have the best in-class liquid fertilizer compatibility. Asteroid is an azoxystrobin-based fungicide, and its label includes all established uses for in furrow and foliar uses of azoxystrobin. Bifender is a bifenthrin-based insecticide, and its label includes all established in furrow and foliar uses for bifenthrin. So both products uh, use a polymer-based technology, and polymers are already widely used in agriculture. They're used in soil amendments, as inert ingredients and pesticides, as stickers and spreaders, and in encapsulants. Our Allos Burst Delivery Tech System is the next generation of polymer technology. And Vive has the first group of nanotechnology-based products that have been approved by the EPA for use in agriculture. So our Alice Burst delivery system allows us to have precise control over how the active ingredient interacts with the environment. So the inside of the Alice Burst is hydrophobic, and this attracts the active ingredient inside of the polymer. The outside is hydrophilic, and we can change how it interacts with the environment. So for the case of Asteroid and Bifender, we've changed the external environment so that it mixes very well with liquid fertilizer and, and stays dispersed really nicely within that high salt environment. So both products have superior mixing and stability in all liquid starter fertilizers. We've tested it in the lab and proven this in the field with over 30 different starters. There are many benefits to using both of these products. Again, they mix really well with all starter fertilizers. They require very minimum agitation. So even if you're just using the gravity of pouring the jugs into your tank and then the agitation of moving through your field, that's enough to get it mixed up. It will not separate or settle out when the equipment is stopped either. You might have some minor settling, but as soon as you get the agitation of your tank going, it mixes right in and it, it stays in solution really nicely. It mixes with other products labeled for application with liquid fertilizer. So they mix really nicely with each other or other products such as Capture LFR. It will not break down with freeze thought either. So if a grower gets out early, uh, doesn't use all of his tank and is concerned about it freezing overnight, no problem, he can let it sit out. Once he gets out the next morning, it'll thaw fine, won't clog his lines uh, and no issues there. Stays in solution, uh, will spray out fine. And won't, also won't leave any residue on the tank walls. So growers are gonna get all of the product out into the field. Uh, they're not gonna have any hard clean out issues. These are some of the fertilizers that we've mixed with in-house. So, so a wide variety. Um, again, we've tested with over 30 and we haven't seen any issues there. A lot of growers are using uh, seed treatments already, both fungicides and insecticides, but you can use at plant fungicides and insecticides in furrow as well on top of those seed treatments and still see a great benefit. So the seed treatments do a great job of protecting the seed but the size of the seed can actually really limit the rate of the fungicide and the insecticide that's being used. So putting those extra rates down on top of your seed treatment can really optimize the potential that you'll get from your seed treatment. This will really help with the extra boost for um, greater stand vigor and greater emergence, which can then give you a much healthier crop throughout the rest of the season. So I'll go a little bit into detail about Asteroid now. Asteroid is a new product concept. It's a liquid fertilize, liquid fungicide that mixes great with liquid fertilizers. And it's used uh, mostly for at plant fungal control. So it's 18.4% of Zoxystrobin based. It's an SC formulation. Mixes great with liquid fertilizer and no dilution is necessary. So you can pour it directly into your fertilizer. You don't need any water. Label includes all established in furrow and foliar uses of azoxystrobin, and the label rate ranges from 8.5 to 17 fluid ounces per acre, and that's based on 30 inch row spacing for in furrow applications. And at these rates, one gallon will treat up to 15 acres at the low rate. 
So there are many benefits to using both Asteroid and a starter fertilizer in your crops. So starter fertilizers will help get your seedlings off to a healthy, fast start, establishing that large, vigorous root system. Having that root system will help reduce plant stresses overall. You'll be able to have a much healthier crop. Especially for growers getting out early to plant, this really having that starter fertilizer down really improves the nutrient uptake in the cold and wet compacted soils. Overall, adding that extra nutrients as well increases the availability of nutrients that plants can take up. Using Asteroid will allow you to mix your fungicide flawlessly with your liquid fertilizer. So you can get your fungicide and your fertilizer down at the same time. You can control your soil borne and seedling diseases. And this will help to improve your early season vigor and emergence. You may also get longer control with Asteroid fungicide. And this can allow some growers to skip a more costly mid-season foliar treatment when they're using the higher rates. Using a strobile urine may also provide added plant health benefits, which I'll talk about on the next slide. And overall, this will give you better yields and higher profits. So some of the plant health benefits that you can see with group 11 strobile urines, like azoxystrobin, can be things such as increasing your chlorophyll production for more photosynthesis, you get stronger stems to resist weather and pests, it'll increase root development, it can improve the water use efficiency, and it can improve the nitrogen use. So altogether, if you get all these benefits, you really have a much healthier, happier plant. And the amount of benefits will vary depending on, on what seed variety you're using. So again, we are stat labeled for all established info and foliar uses of azoxystrobin. Some of our at plant applications include potato, corn, sugar beet, soybean, and peanuts and cotton for these labeled diseases. So a wide variety of diseases from rhizoctonians to pythiums, uh, and many others. For a full label, you can visit us at vibecrop.com or on the CDMS website. Asteroid can be used in your, in your program. At plant program decisions are typically made when the yield potential is at a maximum before the later yield limiting events occur, things such as weather and, and varying pest pressure levels. So growers are going to make their in furrow decisions early on and they're going to stick with it. Fungicide and starter fertilizer at planting have pro proven to improve plant health and protect against early season diseases. And altogether, this will maximize the yield potential down the road. Having that at plant application of fungicide may allow the growers to skip later V4 to V8 or VT application. Using an at plant fungicide is the most economical and has the best chance of being applied. So growers are much more likely to do the in furrow application. It costs a lot less using that lower rate and it's got a great return with the yield they'll see later. So again, there are many benefits to using Asteroid. You get a worry-free tank mix. Mix is great with other tank mix partners like liquid fertilizers or Bifender or Capture LFR. You get a convenient one pass application so you can get everything down. It will survive delays due to weather so if your tank freezes with the early planting overnight, no worries, you can get it the next day, no problems there. You don't have to go and buy special equipment. Whatever you're set up for in furrow will work with our product. It ensures seed against seedling diseases, so you're going to have much improved vigor and emergence. And it'll get your crops off to the best start possible. So we'll go through a little bit of our field trial data now that we've collected over the last two years. So our corn trials that we did in 2014 and 2015, the purpose of those was to evaluate the efficacy of asteroid against corn diseases in the field and to evaluate the effect of asteroid on corn yield. To do this, we looked at the emergence and we found no significant differences between the treatments. We also looked at disease incidence and severity and assessed for both gray leaf spot and Rhizoctonia solani. We found very, very low disease recorded in all trials, so that was less than 10%. And lastly, we looked at yield. So overall, we found an average of 8.8 .8 bushel per acre increase, and that's when asteroid was used in combination with starter fertilizer over the yield seen when starter fertilizer was used alone. So again, this was in uh, a time when there was very, very low disease pressure. So we'd expect in times with high disease pressure, we'd see a greater difference over the treatment with no fungicide. We've got more trials going on this year as well on farms. We have as tried on 15 different corn farms across four states. 
So that is Minnesota, Iowa, South Dakota, and Illinois. This covers a minimum of 600 acres. 14 of those are in furrow with starter fertilizer, and one of them is a V5 application with glyphosate. So in that case, the grower really wanted to use the product that wasn't set up for in furrow, so he gave it a go with his uh, glyphosate and no problems. Very happy with how it looked. We also have an additional 600 acres of corn that were treated this year through retail purchases. This was a picture we got back this year from one of our growers. This is as Troy Fund decided with starter fertilizer on the left, and starter fertilizer alone on the right. So this photo was taken on June 8th near Marshall, Minnesota. And you can see the corn plant on the left looks a lot happier, thicker stalk, longer roots, um, overall much better looking than the one with just starter fertilizer. We also have soybean in furrow trials that we did last year. The purpose of those was to evaluate the efficacy of asteroid against soybean diseases in the field and to evaluate the effect of asteroid on soybean yield. To do this, we looked at the emergence and again, found no significant differences between treatments. So there's no issues with crop safety there. We looked at disease incidence and severity for rhizoctonia. And again, very low disease that year. Uh, disease was undetectable in four out of five of our trials. And lastly, we looked at yield. So we found an average of 2.6 bushels per acre increase. And that's again with Astroid used in combination with starter fertilizer over starter fertilizer alone. So we would expect in years with much higher disease pressure to have a bigger yield bump over the treatment without fungicide. We have three farms currently trialing as Troy fungicide in furrow. This covers a minimum of 60 acres and all are using starter fertilizer as well. So we're expecting to get data back on those within the next few months. So as Troy fungicide with starter fertilizer can be seen on the left and starter fertilizer can be seen on the right. And you can see it's fairly similar to the corn picture. The one with fungicide, asteroid, as well as the starter fertilizer is much more developed root systems. In addition to that, we also had much more nodulation. So overall, a much healthier, happier looking soybean plant. These photos were taken in June in Ainsworth, Iowa. So we did get out to visit most of our demo trials this year. All the growers are very happy with the product and they're very receptive to us coming to visit them on the farm. They found no mixing issues with anything they tested it with uh, and very, very happy with the challenges they faced in the field this year as well. So one grower got rained out for four days uh, after he mixed the asteroid in his tank with starter fertilizer. Once he got back out into the field, he checked his tank. There was a little bit of residue on the check balls, but as soon as he got moving, it came right off. Very happy with the product. We also had noticeably improved greening and plant health on areas of the field where asteroid was accidentally applied. So that grower was very, very happy. He could tell exactly where the asteroid hit uh, compared to the part of his field where it didn't. We had improved root health with visible increases in root mass, as you could see in those pictures. That was very uh, common across all of our trials. Growers were very happy with how their roots looked. We also noticed that uh, the asteroid mixed very well with the glyphosate product for the V5 application. And in that case, the grower said he had excellent stay green and, and he was very ecstatic with it. We had two growers who applied through a dosatron with no problem there uh, for different reasons. One grower wanted to use Capture LFR as well as Astroid as well as the starter fertilizer. So we put Capture in one tank and mixed the Astroid with starter fertilizer in another and no problems there. We also found no issues with cleanup or residues left in the tank. So overall, very, very happy. And the photo here down in the, in the right just shows one of our growers stopping in the field. He didn't have any ag agitators in his tank, just poured it right in. Um, and again, the agitation of the field was enough to get it mixed up and going into, into solution. We have additional trials going on this year as well. Six potato trials are looking at as foliar and in furrow treatments. We have one sugar beet trial going on that's looking at asteroid in furrow. And we have one corn for an in furrow and foliar program trial. Okay, I would like to talk a little bit about Bifender now. So we'll follow the same path. We'll talk about the product specs and then we'll go into data for Bifender. Bifender is 19.3% Bifenthrin SC formulation. It is again liquid fertilizer compatible with no dilution necessary. So it can pour 
neat into liquid fertilizer with no problem. It has best in class mixing properties and it stays in suspension much longer than Capture LFR and will go through your screens much better than Capture LFR. The label includes all established in furrow and foliar uses of bifenthrin and the label rates are from 3.0 to 7.3 fluid ounces per acre. And that's based on 30 inch, inch row spacing for in furrow use. One gallon of bifender will treat 17 to 42 acres under label rate. So some of our target crops for bifender that we've been looking at this year are for potato, corn, and soybean against these insect pests. But again, for the full label, you can go to our website at bifcrop.com or visit it at CDMS. So a lot of growers are already using a BT insecticide trait, but using Bifender on top of the insecticide trait can really give a lot of added benefits as well. So it'll protect those refuge acres in addition to the acres with the insecticide trait. It will really help to reduce the chance of resistance buildup to BT or prevent it from happening in new areas. In addition, BT insecticide only controls the insects that have already bitten into and caused that damaging bite to the roots. Using Bifender will actually control them before they can create that damaging bite. So using this in addition to your BT treated plants will really give you a, a nice extra boost there. There are many benefits to using Bifender. Again, you get that worry-free tank mix. You have a convenient one-pass application so you can get your insecticide and your fertilizer down, mix it with your fungicide if you want as well. It will survive delays due to weather. You don't need any special equipment. If you have a dosatron or any other equipment for in furrow use, it will work, but you don't need to go out and buy something to use it. It'll ensure your seed against insect pests. So even if you've got a seed treatment or a BT trait, it's still going to give you an extra protection there. This will get your crops off to the best start, giving you the highest yield potential down the road. I'll go over some of our field trial data now for Biofender. So we did corn and furrow trials last year as well. The purpose of these was to evaluate the efficacy of Bifender on corn rootworm in the field. We also evaluated the crop safety of Bifender plus Asteroid together on corn, and we wanted to evaluate the effect of Bifender plus Asteroid together on corn yield. To do this, we looked at the corn rootworm damage based on the nodal corn rootworm injury scale, and we found that Bifender plus Asteroid had numerically lower injury ratings than Capture LFR. And in addition to this, we also saw that they had much higher recovery. So while that wasn't encompassed by the corn rootworm injury scale, uh, you can see it in photos, which I'll show you next. And so this was reported from a number of the people who did our trials for us. We found no significant differences between treatments for emergence. So this shows us that there was no issues with crop safety using Bifender and Asteroid together. And lastly, we looked at yield. So we found that using Bifender and Asteroid plus starter fertilizer had a yield increase of 8.2 bushels per acre and that's over starter fertilizer alone. We also had an increase over capture alone. So this picture shows a little bit of what I was talking about with our, our higher recovery. So you can see the one on the left, that's starter fertilizer alone. It has a thinner stalk, chewed brace roots, and short roots. Bifender plus asteroid with starter fertilizer is on the right. It has a much thicker stalk, sturdier brace roots, and longer roots. And these were off by about 0.5 on the corn rootworm nodal rating scale. You can see the one on the right looks a lot healthier and happier. So overall, much better recovery using these two products. Our soybean in furrow trials that we did were to look at the, the crop safety of Bifender plus Asteroid on soybean and to evaluate the effect of Bifender plus Asteroid on soybean yield. We looked at the emergence and again, we saw no significant differences between treatments. So there's no issue with crop safety of Bifender plus Asteroid on starter, on soybean. And we also measured the yield. So we found a yield increase of 4.3 bushels per acre over starter fertilizer alone. And then we also saw about an extra two bushels on top of capture. So just to summarize, using both products will give you a worry-free tank mix. Both of them can be done with a convenient one-pass application mixing with either fertilizer or each other or other products labeled for use with starter fertilizers. They will both survive delays due to weather. So if your growers are getting out early, they don't need to worry about tanks freezing or any other events that may occur. You don't need to go and purchase special equipment. Whatever you're set up for in furrow will work 
if you have something like a dosatron, you can use that, but you don't need to go and buy anything new. It will ensure your seeds against early season stresses, so it will really optimize the seed treatments you've got down, the extra traits you've got, uh, or just using it on your seed as is will really help give your plants the healthiest, best boost they can have for optimizing their yield potential in, later in the season. Great, okay. thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kelly. Appreciate that fantastic webinar. Uh, as noted here, if you have any questions about Asteroid by Fender or by Crop Protection, uh, Kelly's contact information is here, as well as Tony Zatilni, and our website is www.vivecrop.com. So thank you very much for uh, sitting in on this webinar today, and we'll look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.